My name is Tony Shelton. I'm an entomologist at Cornell University, and what I do is to develop pest management programs for insects affecting vegetables. So the diamondback moth is one of the world's worst pests, insect pests. It attacks crucifer crops like cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, and, and canola. Um, it's an invasive pest in North America, in New York. We've had some fields that in some years are pretty much completely destroyed by diamondback moth. And it's uh, a major pest globally. It, uh, it's estimated to cause four to five billion dollars worth of injury every year. And uh, we need some other ways of, of controlling it. The idea behind the genetically engineered uh, diamondback moth is that the males are sterile. And so when they mate with the wild females, then the offspring basically will not survive. And you'll drive down the pest population and consequently drive down the injury or the damage to the plant. This genetic engineering of insects makes a lot of sense. The reason it does is because you're not using any insecticides. You're just basically turning the insect's reproductive ability upside down and you are st sterilizing the insect so that when it mates you're not going to have offspring to it. This is going to be a safer technology because it's specific for the insect, so it doesn't affect pollinators, doesn't affect predators, parasitoids, or other organisms. It just is specific for diamondback moth. And that's the kind of strategy that we've really been looking for. Many of our insecticides tend to be broad spectrum, and so if we spray them on diamondback moth, we're also going to be knocking off some of its natural enemies and some of its predators and pollinators. So to have something that's just so specific that it only affects diamondback moth is really uh, an exciting technology. We're trying to improve pest management. No one likes insects chewing on their food. We all want to do it in a responsible way. What we're trying to do is to help growers produce crops but help them produce those crops in an environmentally friendly way. So it'll have less pesticide in the environment, less pesticide on the marketable portion of the crop as it goes to the store. So that's what better pest management is all about.